Hello, friends. Today, we're going to explore one of the key features of WinUI, creating a custom button style. If you want to learn how to make your applications more stylish and unique, you've come to the right place. Let's dive in together to see how easy and effective it is to create custom button styles in WinUI, so your application stands out among the rest. Style target type equals button x key equals custom button style, this declares a style for elements of type button. X key specifies a unique key by which this style can be referenced in markup. Setter property equals background value equals hashtag 305 FFE sets the background property of the button to blue. Setter property equals foreground value equals hashtag FFFFFF sets the text color foreground of the button to white. Setter property equals font weight value equals 500 sets the font weight of the button's text. Setter property equals font size value equals 20 sets the font size of the button's text. Setter property equals padding value equals 126126 sets the padding, inner spacing, of the button, where the first value is top, the second is right, the third is bottom, and the fourth is left. Setter property equals border thickness value equals 0 sets the thickness of the button's border to 0, making it borderless. Setter property equals border brush value equals light blue sets the border color of the button to light blue. Setter property equals corner radius value equals 15 sets the corner radius of the button to 15 pixels. Setter property equals horizontal alignment value equals center sets the horizontal alignment of the button's content to center. Setter property equals vertical alignment value equals center sets the vertical alignment of the button's content to center. Setter property equals vertical content alignment value equals center sets the vertical alignment of the button's content to center. Setter property equals width value equals 300 sets the width of the button to 300 pixels. Setter property equals height value equals 65 sets the height of the button to 65 pixels. Setter property equals template defines a custom template for rendering the button. Control template target type equals button defines a custom template for rendering a button control. Grid defines a grid that contains elements for displaying the button. Border X name equals button background defines a border used to display the button's background. Template binding is used to bind template properties, background, border brush, border thickness, corner radius, to corresponding button properties. Content presenter defines an element for displaying the button's content. It uses template binding to bind display properties, horizontal alignment, vertical alignment, content, content template, to corresponding button properties. Visual State Manager. Visual State Groups defines groups of states for managing animations and visual state changes. Visual State Group X, name equals common states, defines a state group named common states that contains various states of the button. Visual State X, name equals normal, defines the normal state of the button. Visual State X, name equals point rover, defines the state of the button when the mouse pointer is over it. Storyboard, defines animations that will be triggered when entering the corresponding state. Color Animation Storyboard. Target name equals button background storyboard. Target property defines an animation to change the background color of the button when transitioning to the specified state. Visual State X, name equals pressed, defines the state of the button when it is pressed. Visual State X, name equals disabled, defines the state of the button when it is disabled.
Style equals static resource custom button style. This attribute sets the style of the button. Static resource indicates that we are using a style resource with a specific key named custom button style. And here we are, wrapping up our lesson on creating a custom button style in WinUI. Now you know how to utilize the capabilities of this tool to create stylish and unique interfaces in your applications. Keep experimenting, learning, and bringing new ideas to life. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and leave comments. Until next time in our upcoming videos.